This is the moment all designers get so excited about. It's the moment where we get to bring our clients in and show them the finished product. It's where all the elements come together perfectly to create the home of their dreams. This is the reveal, and I'm so excited to bring you in and let you be part of it. Hi, I'm Lucy Ayers of 22 Interiors, and we're standing outside of our client's house in Studio City, Los Angeles, California. The home was purchased by our clients when they moved from the East Coast, and they loved the location and they loved the home. It had recently been redone, but it had been redone in a bit more of a modern, cold way, and they looked to us to help them figure out how to warm it up, and make it feel more cozy and inviting. And I can't wait to show you what we've done inside. Driving down this beautiful residential street, you come up to this home and the first thing you notice is the angle of the roof. And it's quite dramatic and it's beautiful. And it gives the home a very modern and updated feel. But the next thing you notice that's almost the showstopper is the 12 foot metal entry door and it's just wonderful and I love it so much. It doesn't feel like the most practical choice, but it's definitely a showstopper and definitely something everybody notices. The feeling of opening this very heavy door is memorable and I think that's a good thing. You know, why not have a little bit of fun with your entry? walk through this insanely dramatic tall door. We're in a hallway with incredibly tall ceilings and skylights and stone floors and in black cabinetry, it all felt very, very cold. And it's not what the clients wanted. So how do we do that? How do we figure out how to feel warmer in the space that just feels incredibly, incredibly cold and dark? Black cabinetry is quite dramatic. To remedy that, we had to add natural elements and reminders of nature. So for example, we have these three pieces of um, photography of the ocean, of fields, and their nice scale. You always have to think about the scale. And since the ceilings are so tall, we wanted to go large with the photography as well. And these shots are moody and they, they're not colorful on purpose. It sets a mood when you enter the home and it balances out the dark cabinetry on the left. Another element that's really important when you want to sort of balance out a cold interior, which modern interiors can sometimes feel cold, is adding natural elements. So we custom made this runner, which is made of jute and wool. We made it in a dramatically long size so that it fills the entire entry hall. And it works beautifully as a juxtaposition to the very, very cold floors. And finally, we needed something dramatic in terms of lighting. Lighting is where you want to go dramatic. And because of the scale of the height of this ceiling and this long hallway upon the entering via a ginormous door, we found a very large pendant made of jute. And it's just beautiful. And it, it is as natural of an element as you can get. And it sort of sets the mood for the entire home, which is, you know, really counterbalancing these hard elements with softer, more organic shapes and forms. And it's what the client wanted the house to feel like. And it's what we think turned out amazingly. So walking through that entry hall, we then enter the big open room that is dining and kitchen and family room that leads right to the outdoor space with their pool. Just off the entry hall, we have a little nook, a couple of areas that we wanted to design and do something with and not leave them blank. So on one side, we have a bench that's kind of nice to 
throw your jacket on when you enter the house. And on the other side, we have a nice floor length mirror with a basket full of dried plants and just gives it that more natural vibe that we've been going for throughout the home. And here is where our powder room is. And the powder room was a bit of a design challenge in that it is small but long. And so you'll see that when open, you can see the space from the dining area and the kitchen. So we thought it was really important to find a wallpaper that really elevated the space and made it feel cozier, but still modern and fresh and organic and all those other things we were going for. So set the mood and I love the palms. I love the scale of it. I love the repeat of it. And I think it fills out this very cold and modern bathroom really nicely and it is actually really fun to see it peeking through when you're in the open space and in the kitchen. So halfway through our project the family discovered that they are pregnant and we were very excited to help them create a nursery. Of course we didn't want to do anything very typical. We wanted to have a little bit more fun in the nursery. And so we started off with this gorgeous wallpaper that I absolutely love. The ochre colored stripe in the background with these animals doing very unexpected things. We have a squirrel playing the ukulele and a beaver with a fan and, you know, just sort of silly elements, but really, really beautiful. And so we used that color of the okra and brought it into the rug and uh, then just added some really simple white furniture and some baskets throughout to make it feel warm. But all of the rooms in the house, well, the guest room and the nursery have these black closet doors. And what's so great about this wallpaper is that it has tons of black and white elements within it, as well as other colors. So it just sort of stands out a bit more than these black closet doors when you walk in and it draws the eye. And just as we were talking about the view from the kitchen into the powder room and that pretty palm wallpaper, when the baby room is open, you can also see this gorgeous wallpaper and it, it just adds a lot of life um, where we kept everything so natural and muted and organic with earth tones out in the main family spaces. In the powder room and in the nursery, we went really wild with some colors and had a lot of fun. And to me, it's, the most fun when you can do something that's not expected for a certain room. And I think nurseries tend to have a very sort of typical look, and I don't think this is it, and that's why I love it so much. So our clients had moved from the East Coast for a job opportunity out here in Los Angeles, and we realized we both had a love of the Hamptons and the beaches out there and the general vibe of Montauk and the East End. And so we wanted to bring that mood to their home. And so it was a kind of a perfect combination because we got this modern house with all of these almost harsh architectural details in that, you know, tall slanted ceilings and dark cabinetry and cold stone floors. And so it felt very natural to then juxtapose all of those cold elements with lots of warmth and photography of beaches and um, jute and natural elements like straw and wool and softness and everything else, which is what we did here in the dining room. And um, along with the grass pendant in the entryway, we did something similar where we did these giant cone-like pendants um, that not only do they warm the space up, but the ceilings are dropped here a little bit more than in the other space. And so adding these cone pendants creates an even more intimate experience. When you're sitting at the table, you feel as if the ceiling's even lower, and that creates intimacy. You want coziness in your dining area. Another to die for element is these amazing, amazing dining chairs. And they are made with all down and feather. It's all one piece. And when your guests sit on these dining chairs, they will not want to get up. I mean, it is as comfy as it gets, and we are obsessed with them. Our clients also love to entertain. Um, they love to cook. And so essential for them was an extendable dining table. And that's what this is. It goes from seating six, as you see it, 
to seating eight or even 10, depending on the size of the chair. And that was super important for them. And just finishing off the dining room, we really wanted more photography, um, which feels modern, but still, depending on what the subject of the photography is, you can really create an additional mood. And we found this beautiful, beautiful photograph um, taken in Scotland um, of a wild horse um, on the beach. And it's, it's just moody. The shot is of the horse from the back and you know, it just sets the mood and the colors are right and it completely echoes what we did in that large entry hall, um, which is kind of a nice way to tie it all together over here. Then once we get into the kitchen, we've got a large island and more dark cabinetry. This is sort of the way the home was built and we kept it as is except for the pendant lights. The pendant lights um, that came with the home were glass and had an exposed light bulb. And to me, that was way too industrial. Um, exposed light bulbs, uh, clear glass, like it just did not do what we wanted it to do. However, we didn't want to keep <laughs> moving with the jute or the natural straw-like pendants because then it would feel too much, right? Like we've got the one big one in the entry, the two cones over the dining. So over here, we really wanted to minimalize it, make it super simple, um, elegant, chic, pretty. And so that's what these pendants are. They're really thin profile. Um, they have a beautiful cream color to it and they cast a gorgeous light. So, you know, if you have guests at night, you can just put the pendants on and create that pretty mood lighting. Um, but if you're working and cooking and whatnot, they, they project a nice light as well. That was the decision behind changing the pendant lights in the kitchen. kitchen we enter the family room um, or living room. This is really the one living space with sofas and chairs and has to function both as the family room where they can relax and watch television um, and where they would entertain. So we sort of did two different things. One, we did a big, really comfortable sofa that mimics those chairs. It's just down and fluffy and you just sink into it and it's just delicious. But we also didn't want guests to have, when guests come over, you don't want them to be sinking in necessarily and not getting up off of your sofa. So you want, you know, a little bit more of a formal chair. So we did these formal chairs. We did a pair of them and they are a bit more firm to sit in and a little bit more comfortable when guests come over, especially if somebody's wearing a dress or a skirt or whatnot. It's nice to have a chair that um, is easy to get up off of. Um, and that's what we did with these chairs. Once again, to create a cozy, cozy, cozy feeling, we wanted the colors to be as natural as possible. So you see a lot of earth tones, lighter earth tones um, in the rug and um, in the pillows and some of the accents. I also felt because there isn't a separate den where people watch TV and a separate living room, because we it's all in one, I felt very strongly about the family getting a frame TV, which is a certain TV that a lot of designers love because it doesn't look like a television. It looks like a piece of art and that's there in the background. Um, so it does its job. Another element of a larger family room or living room that's important and creates more intimacy is, is sort of the anchor of this coffee table. And the coffee table, again, like, we wanted to add more warmth and more natural elements and remind us of the beach and the outdoors. And so this coffee table is beautiful. It's made from a rope and it's quite large in scale. It has a shelf underneath. Every bit of this coffee table is covered in rope and it looks like, you know, something you would see in the Caribbean or some beach resort. Um, and that's what we wanted to do. Some of the styling elements in this room are quite minimal. We didn't want to overwhelm it. When you have a modern home like this, you can, you can add many layers, but sometimes it gets a little bit too confusing to the eye if you add too much. So we really wanted to keep this space clean and make it feel inviting, but not make it feel too cluttered. 
So that was the goal. So we did some minimal styling here with some pillows and books and, um, you know, accent objects. So from behind the family room sofa, there's a beautiful wall and we wanted to create a gallery wall for the family. And there's a couple of things that are really important to me when creating gallery walls for clients. One is that I think it's really important to show the history of your family and not just, you know, five different shots of you and your husband or you, you and your family in modern times because it's not as interesting. And so I always encourage clients to find photos of some great grandmother getting married or um, a great uncle in the war or, um, you know, a parent as a child and combine those kinds of old photos with newer ones. And also very important in the mix is to do uh, large photographs and small photographs. So change up the scale of the photography. And then of course you can do all black and white. That's sort of a nice modern look um, of your photos or you can mix up black and white with, um, with color. So scale, the type of photos, you know, some professional shots are okay, but candidates are great too. And again, the combination of the two is what makes it really, really special. And that's what we did here. And we had um, a couple of older photographs that the, the family had found from both sides and a few of the couple, and of course, uh, one of the baby. Additionally, once you have your sort of array of photographs from different eras and different family sides of families and different sizes and you know different color tones then it's also nice to play with a variety of frames and so for this for this wall we combined some lucite clear frames with some wood frames and we also played with the scale and proportion of those frames to the photograph so sometimes it's really lovely to take a smaller photo and make it feel more important with a larger frame and you know do the opposite sometimes a large photo with just right onto the frame is really nice so you kind of be a little playful with your photos and you create a gallery that then becomes a more interesting for people to look at you can tell stories about who these people were in these older times and you can make it look uh, more artistic and not just a straight up family wall of photos that were taken you know last year professionally so i just think it's more interesting and i really encourage all of our clients to give us that mix of photographs because it's something unique and it's it tells the story of you and only you in addition to this beautiful art gallery wall of photographs that we created for our clients there was something else we needed to ground this area behind the sofa and we found this beautiful teak bench. I love it because I feel as if it, it had just come from the ocean and somebody created a bench out of it. It's very sculptural and beautiful and whitewashed from light and ocean and it just feels so warm and organic and beautiful. And I feel as if this was a very important piece, even though maybe not everybody will sit on it often, but it does, it does bring in all of those natural elements from the entry and the dining, and then it does beautifully complement and anchor this beautiful gallery wall that we created. Here we are in the primary bedroom lots of white walls and big open space and glass doors that stack back to the outdoors. It's as romantic as you can get. It's just so beautiful and peaceful in here. And we wanted to continue what we had done out there and add these warm natural elements. The bed is just big and cozy and full of <laughs> delicious bedding. Bedding is, if I could change my bed every single day, I think I would in terms of new, new bedding and new sheets. I love bedding and I love the idea of linen that looks sloppy as we did for them, which is okay, it's a relaxed look, but there's a softness that comes with linen from washing it for years. But then I love a crisp sateen as well and it's just something that makes you feel like you're in a fancy hotel room. And I love just a beautiful bed made up, just all white bedding. I think that is the classy, you know, timeless way to go, but then again, it's always fun to add pops of color. In here, we added a throw and, and two shams that had a little bit of red in them. 
to add a little touch of life in here, we have these nightstands made of a beautiful maple wood in a smoky-like finish. Just a little bit of a mood and a rug that's a beautiful beige color, which feels more warm than a gray. And I think that um, when you have a modern home like this with lots of black and white elements, adding gray is just going to create more coldness. And so we try to add more beige tones and more earth tones throughout. And you'll see that here. Additionally, we had a beautiful wall to play with. And so the clients love the photographer Slim Aarons and we were able to get one of Slim Aarons' prints and it is one of his aerial shots of the island of Capri. And so when they wake up in this beautiful bedroom, if they look one way, they see their soothing backyard. And if they look their other way, they have a photo of this beautiful aerial shot of a gorgeous ocean. In the primary bedroom, there was a corner and I felt it was really important to put a chair in that corner and create a little cozy nook. However, because we have these amazing sliding doors to the outside, I wanted to make sure the chair could swivel. Walking into the primary bathroom and this is just fabulous. We've got an amazing tub that's surrounded by beautiful natural stone, a walk-in shower with a gorgeous shower head. Everything feels so open and beautiful. We didn't need to do too much in here. We just needed to soften a little bit. Um, we wanted to keep it quite clean and open, but we did add this beautiful wool runner and um, just soft on the feet and feels good. I think when you wake up in the morning, it's nice to have um, a rug or a runner to put your feet on versus a cold marble floor. The jewel of this room is this amazing bathtub. It has a gorgeous wall of marble um, and it sits on a platform of marble and it just makes it feel really, really special. We added some plants and some salts to the little niche to make it feel like a spa. And the room, generally speaking, is very dramatic and our clients kind of wanted to keep it that way. We didn't need to do too much in here. Here we are in their backyard, and this is quintessential Southern California living. The indoor, outdoor lifestyle is just exactly what everybody wants, and it's what we have here. The doors open up so you get the fresh air throughout the primary bedroom and into the living room, and you have a perfect little garden oasis that you see here. We've got comfortable chaise lounges, beautiful dipping pool. It's pretty much everything you need. Organic shapes and forms flooded with light and steeped in nature. This is an oasis of calm beauty in the city. All of it comes together seamlessly in this very special place. The whole house definitely has a theme of organic natural materials. Sisal rugs, jute rugs, rope pendants, photography, and elements of nature that really make the space feel much warmer than it would be without those elements because fundamentally this house was renovated in a very sort of modern and stark way. I think we also wanted to incorporate brightness and so we used a lot of white linen materials in the living room, the dining room, the bedrooms, um, just to evoke more of a calm sense of space. It's very difficult to pick a favorite part of this project or a space in here because I just love how it all seamlessly comes together. But if I had to pick one favorite moment, 
it might be the entryway. I just love the juxtaposition of the front door being very modern and cold. It's metal and size. Um, juxtaposed with the beautiful pendant light that we have that's just all about organic shapes and forms and materials and the photography on the walls and it just creates such a special welcoming experience walking down this hallway that um, it really sets the mood for the entire house so I think that might be my favorite. This project was so much fun to work on. We love the results and we loved getting to show it off here on The Reveal. So thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time.